In this video, we would see how to configure in Maven to download artifacts or dependencies from Nexus instead of external remote repository. And also we would see how to solve the issue of could not transfer artifact form from R2 Maven default HTTP blocker which is a blocker mirror for repositories. In the previous video, we have seen there are three types of repositories in Nexus, proxy repository, hosted repository and group repository. And this group repository is a combination of this proxy repository and hosted repository. So when we upload artifacts, we will use hosted repositories. And when we download the artifacts, we will use the group repositories. So in this video, we will use the group repository to download the artifacts from Nexus in stock external repository. Let us start. Here we have an example application. Let us see the contents of this example. So we have the pom.xml. Let us verify the contents. In this pom.xml, we have mentioned the dependencies here. And also when we execute the build, the Maven will download various plugins and different pages of lifecycle. So for example, Maven compiler plugin, Maven install plugin, etc. So from where these dependencies and the plugins will be downloaded. By default, Maven will download these plugins and dependencies from central repository. So that is a public repository. So to change that to Nexus group repository, we have to configure our group repository URL inside the repository section. So there are two places where we can configure these repositories. Either we can directly put the repository section in pom.xml or we can put the repository section in the settings.xml. So the best practice is to put this repository section in settings.xml instead of pom.xml. That is a one-time configuration in the settings.xml. So the first thing we have to do is we have to copy the repository URL of Nexus group repository. So for that, let us go to this administrator section and go to the repositories. Here click on the Maven group repository, whatever we have created previously, my or Maven group. And this is the URL we have to copy. So this is the URL we'll use in the configuration of repositories. Before configuring the repositories in pom.xml or settings.xml, we need to understand the default repositories and plugin repositories inside superpom.xml. So by default, when we don't configure any repositories or plugin repositories in pom.xml or settings.xml, these will be used. So here in these repositories, we can see this repository section will be used for downloading the normal dependencies and these plugin repositories will be used for downloading the required plugins for lifecycle execution. So if we want to mention our Nexus URL, so we have to overwrite these repositories inside our settings.xml. So the first thing is we have to change the URL. And the second thing is here by default, the snapshots will be disabled in these remote repositories. Since we need to work on snapshots also during our Maven builds, so we will enable these snapshots inside our settings.xml. So these are the two things we have to change in our settings.xml. So now to configure in the settings.xml, I have created a Maven profile with ID Nexus. And here I have copied the repositories from the superform.xml and in these repositories, I am overriding the default central ID. So here for the URL, so instead of Maven central repository URL, I have copied our group repository URL in Nexus. And also I have enabled both religious and snapshots as true. So this is valid for both repository section as well as plugin repository section. So let us copy this and put it in the settings.xml. So let us open the settings.xml now. So now under the profiles, let me copy the profile corresponding to Nexus. So after copying the profile, let us make it active. So here, instead of testing, I'll specify Nexus. So now our Nexus profile is active. So let us save this file and execute the build. So here we are getting an issue. The issue is, it is not allowing the download from HTTP repositories via this blocker mirror. So that means Maven by default will not allow to download from HTTP repositories. So for this, what we have to do? So we have to create another mirror to allow our HTTP artifacts. So again, we have to open the settings.xml and we'll create a mirror. And in that mirror, we'll specify our HTTP URL of Nexus. So let us do that. Let us open the settings.xml again. So here we can see there is a mirror section in the settings.xml. So in this mirror section, there is a default mirror, which is Maven default HTTP blocker. So by default, this is configured such that 
it will not allow to download the artifacts from http urls so since we have the http url for our nexus repository so we have to comment this out so let us comment this out so after commenting this so we also need to prepare another mirror to provide our nexus url so let us do that so here i am specifying another mirror in this mirror i am configuring our nexus url which is our group repository url and also we are specifying mirror of star that means whatever repository we are trying to access they will access via this url so let us place this mirror configuration inside our mirror section of our settings.xml so now here we have done two things we have commented out our http blocker and we have added one more mirror to download from nexus http url so let us save this and let us re-execute our maven build so now we should not get this issue and also our artifacts should be downloaded from nexus url now from the output we can see that the plugins are downloaded via nexus repository url instead of maven centralized repository url so let us wait for the end of this build so now we can see our build is completed successfully so this way we can configure our repository section and the mirror section to download the required artifacts via nexus instead of maven centralized url i hope this video is useful to you if you like the video please like share and subscribe thanks a lot for watching